but uh, we, we get here and what seems to be the features we get and we put this in it Type quads application this uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me all right so uh, I can copy this here now I want three posts the type of the feature and here I put my article title here I put my article description okay, so Feel free to delete this one because um, by default, and I could put up my instead of using repeat, I could use this instead. It works. It works perfect as well. So with this, let me reload the page once again. This should have changed out. Also, um, this part. Uh, professional services this part I can put the headline here headline here description here okay, so let's embed widget again Widget. It's not bad to copy to use a bit of copy and paste here. And this is the content to put here. So I use um, application site info. So here I use my site headline, site description, description. And here I can put a static test, maybe more about information. I should put it here. Good. More about us. I'm going to about, that's fine. Our professional services. Okay. So let's see the one I did just now. All right, so this is just perfect. Let's reload for this one as well. I'm leaving this uh, professional services because it's a generic uh, term. So uh, regardless, any company that uses this thing, 
could use this pen on their in, on their site so I'm leaving it so the next best interior services best interior services all right I'll change this to organization name so to be organization name services then I'm listing services here three services so I'm going to embed post again let me just copy and paste I'm going to be using this term a lot now so post article sure I'm showing three and this one service and um, yeah I'll bring in just one of this all right repeat going to repeat this three times and um, article title article description uh, okay so we see this is Sorted now. I'm trying to do this one. Uh, so I use article description. Oh, I can use article side. I'm going to delete all this one first. Then here, what's happening here? I think this is more like a gallery or portfolio. So I embed portfolio here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. They seem like the same. So, embedding widgets again. Let's embed uh, widgets here. Okay. So, I'll bring in just one of this. I'll put it inside this repeat. I'll delete all these ones. And I'll change this one. I want it to show six. Is this six? What's going on? All right. One, two. Oh. This is big. Uh, uh, 
access filter so I can't delete everything I can't delete everything and that means I can't use repeat but do it it's a different way now So we we'll do it one after the other. The first one, I have, um, and we're doing this because the sections are not the same. This is big, this is small, this is small, this is smaller, smaller, big. So since they are not the same format, we have to do it one after the other. And how do we do this? We use data. Um, data set markup for it. So starting from zero, data zero. Um, the first one. So. Um, article title I put zero here um, post link So let's see if we can put the organization in here and this we use um, embed image URL equals cover equals, um, document URL your high so that's for the first one for the second one we do the same we use data one that's for data number one and um, almost the same okay but then this one we use oops we ought to use zero here so that here we use one and this as well instead we use one here use one but don't let's forget to use zero here as well yeah so uh, that's how we're going to go and do for data data 2 data 3 data 4 data 5 I think that will be the sixth one so this is the second one with data 2 so I'm going to copy this one and put it here but then I'll change this to 2 then I'll copy this I'll put it here I'll make this 2 I'll make this 2 
then there's a three bring it here there's a four I bring it here there's a five I bring it here so we have now we've done <clears throat> see. Three. 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 So we put four here. Five. Five. Four. Four. This one so will be fine. <clears throat> now, having done this, um, let's find out. Yes, this has to be six, and this is not service now. This is um, is it portfolio, or what can we call it? Portfolio, yes, and true post type link. True post type link. Okay. Mm. Can I? Mm. All right. So. Having done this, we can come back here to refresh. To refresh the page. And um, the next is this is not service. This is more like a team member. So we want to embed another widget here. Our team. Okay, so this seems to be the same three. So we're going to pick one of it and give it the repeat command we'll delete everything and we call this what are we going to call it team member where is this yes article type will be Team member and post type custom fields, 
first time custom field will be this all right so let's check what we don't get yeah oh we've not changed this picture this picture is here all right so this is done right good let's go back to this picture i oh, want to do this first article title and we use position or oh, let's use full name here and we use post link okay so we can use embed image URL equals document URL URI so let's check out why this picture didn't work um, service oh we didn't set it how do we set it we use embed image URL this one so you could see how changing this is directly affecting the without having to go into the back end at all just editing the HTML files here and it's affecting the theme layout so that's exactly what happens that's the method the new method for changing um, for creating your theme with page carton I think it's kind of easy for it's gonna be a lot easy for people who just love to use um, the code editor and um, yeah so the next would be testimonials testimonial embed widget plane so let's verify that everything is working and yes it is so now we have everything except the fact that the name is not working for whatever reason name full name is not working but it will work though next is the testimonials so this testimonial um it still seems like the same it has just two testimonials so we use two testimonials we're going to embed widget with two testimonials all right so let's embed my widget here I'll copy just one of it and put it inside the repeat markup. I'll delete the rest.
So I want you to show three testimonials like this. Let's find out the mark of four testimonials here. Article type will be testimonial. Will be testimonial and post type custom fields will be position and full name. Post type custom field will be position and full name. Alright, so this would be my article description. Then this would be my full name. This would be my position. Good. And then the gallery. The gallery icon. Gallery item. Where is it? This one. This will be like the brand pictures. I can leave this blank the way it is. Whoever wants to change this will go into the picture editor and change it from the picture editor. So this could be a perfect call to action. So this is call to action. A call to action is a post. So we'll embed a single post here. So I want you to show just once and what article type would this be? Let's find out. Call to action. Article type call to action. Post true post type is link. True post type is link. Good. This will be my article title. This will be my post link. Change this to go. Let's just find out how this how this works here. Next will be our recent our recent news. So, just two posts, we we'll get two posts here, and that would be everything we needed for the home page. Let's embed two posts here. They seem like the same, 
same set of content so very easy we do the same we copy widgets we put it here we use the repeat command for one of the code the markup So, and we use the variables. Oh, I saw we didn't change the pixels here, did we? And for the testimonials, we have not changed the picture. So we use embed image URL will be document URL. URI this is just so that our picture would take the dimension of the picture on the on the theme so we'll do the same for this one and um, so at me will take display name Um, views counts comments counts article dates day article dates article date y date month year then article title then post link So with this now, I think we have a solid. How do we post here? We want to true post type will be article. Article type will be blog post. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, this is not working. Yeah. Call to action. This slider right here is not working. So what am I going to do? The slider doesn't want to work with this scripts tag, so I'm going to use it as the parameter. Okay, this should work just fine. All right, so this is, yeah, so this is how everything is going to be. And we would have been done with everything. Let's reload. This is showing for.
with this we would have been done with the home page let's verify that all everything we have is so i find this method kind of like it's it look it seems to be faster and um yeah it's kind of interesting especially for somebody who is comfortable coding directly from the code editor the fact that you know you can take make use of the intelligence and um the fact that you are you're working directly on the code editor is it's um is interesting so this looking good this parameters not properly set widget parameters not properly set oh it's supposed to be an s here so this as well gives you a lot of warning so you know when if you're doing something right or not you know if you're doing something right or not so this if your widget parameters is not set right it will warn you by putting out a um, an error message and um, so I think that's also interesting all right so I think we are done um, let's just verify that the um, let's verify that the testimonial is now working yes yeah, so I can see my testimonial is now working it's showing three testimonials that's a good thing so we're done with the home page easy right